Hey friends, it's that time again. How do you know if the love in a relationship is not enough and you are better off being friends? Uh, these, these are tough questions, uh, really hard questions that, uh, I'm always hesitant to jump in because not knowing you and not knowing your relationship, like, can I say something that will really do this justice? I will say that we put a lot of pressure on our relationships, especially our romantic relationships to try to, to make them work. Uh, we feel like a failure if, uh, if the nature of that relationship changes. And so I guess that's what I would ask is, is why are you staying in the relationship? What value is the relationship adding? What frustrations are there? Do your best just to think about this honestly, without the pressure of, Oh, if it ends, then I messed up or, or I, I'm, I'm not good at picking relationships because they don't always last eternally or something like that. So if you take away kind of the, the fairy tale pressure that we, we put on these things to think that like, Oh, this is, it's always magical forever and, and, and whatnot, then, then maybe you're in a better position to ask, uh, where am I at right now? So don't necessarily, I mean, the, the past is important in that, you know, you've built a foundation with somebody, you've had a lot of shared experiences, you've been through things. Like, I, I don't want to discredit that in any way, but I also want to say, where are you at right now with regard to the relationship? How do you feel about it when you think about it right now? How did you feel about it when you asked this question? Uh, because it, to me, when I get a question like that, it sounds like, um, you, you already have some fairly serious doubts, right? It's, it's not the kind of question that we ask maybe when it's just like, everything feels amazing. So I will say that, you know, NRE, this new relationship energy, this chemical high that we experience in new relationships, that does fade. So if you tend to feel like you need to end a relationship every time the chemical rush is gone, then you're gonna be ending relationships a lot, which, you know, to each their own, if that's how you wanna do life. But, um, that's probably not the criteria that I would use. Oh, the chemical high is gone, so I should end it. But I, I would ask, you know, how are you feeling about it? What kind of value does it add? When you talk to other people about the relationship, what types of things do you find yourself saying? Those might all be really good indicators of uh, whether or not the relationship needs to change. And also, of course, there's more than one person involved here. So I think it's important to have open and authentic conversations with your partner and to talk to them about what they're thinking, what they're feeling. So if you can create a safe space where you can have some hard conversations and um, not be defensive, but just really share with that person, then you might get more insight from, you know, a, a two way uh, conversation or dialogue about this topic. So I appreciate you asking. I wish you the best of luck, whatever you end up deciding. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Feel free to share your thoughts down below and I'll see you back here next time.